Welcome to my almost five minute distribution preview of GNUSense. GNUSense is um, a entirely free Linux distribution. Um, <clears throat> it only supports free software um, and codecs and open source codecs. So items like MP3s, uh, special video formats, uh, won't be um, usable on this system. And as you can see as I'm going through the uh, applications here, this is your usual complement of uh, Debian applications. And um, I was just opening these files to see what everything looks like. I actually thought it was interesting that there is um, a CD DVD creator, but I th was thinking that the DVD format was a, a proprietary format that was copyrighted, but maybe not. Sorry for the artifacting on the right side of the window there. That's uh, a problem with my record my desktop, um, and it recorded the background somehow. There was some sort of ghost image on there. This is the um, GNUSENSE website. It's at uh, G-N-E-W-S-E-N-S-E dot -E -E com, I think. And it's using GNOME. I think it's actually GNOME 2.0. Two maybe. I wanted to be able to show you guys that, um, in fact, uh, YouTube videos, of course, won't play in um, Flash format. I was hoping that uh, the um, the web browser Epiphany, which comes standard, would play uh, HTML5 video, but it appears it doesn't even do that. Um, looks like an older version of GIMP. I'm not quite sure if that artwork is uh, relative to the version number or not. But, uh, you know, when you're running these things in VirtualBox and it's forcing you down to um, 800 by 600, it's really hard to uh, show people um, a, a distribution. Now, I did try to... Um, add the uh, guest editions and everything to my Arch install, but um, it doesn't seem to be uh, working to the point where I can increase the um, the display resolution. Now here's an example of the desktops. This is just a blank background and uh, a logo background. Now actually one of the reasons I wanted to show this distribution was because um, Richard Stallman had mentioned on another YouTube channel that uh, he actually uses GNUSense because it's free and open source software. There is no um, no support for non-free software so this is his uh, distribution of choice. He did mention um, I believe on a blog that his laptop is running entirely on uh, GNUSense and uh, all the drivers are free and open source and I imagine the uh, the parts um, <laughs> in that device uh, also support open software perhaps it's an Intel computer I thought I heard somewhere that Intel is really good about providing drivers to Linux well thanks for watching and uh, I wanted to before you guys leave I want to show you the um, the login screen, I actually thought it looked pretty good. Check this out. 